Say it, don't spray it. Hey, what's up my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fans' toys, Spindrift. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some nice illustrations of Spindrift in his vehicle mode, in his robot mode. On this side, Spindrift. On this side, Spindrift. On this side, Spindrift. On this side, Spindrift. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have a very lengthy bio for him. Three whole paragraphs, if you want to read it. Go ahead, there's paragraph one. Paragraph two. Paragraph 3, and that's basically it for the packaging. And also included in the packaging is the collector's card with another image there of Spin Drift. And on the back you have the three paragraphs of bio and text specs. If that interests you, hooray for Dino Mode? Dino Mode? Hooray for cards. So, moving right along dino mode, <clears throat> yeah, moving right along, here we have Spindrift, which is Fans Toys' take on Sea Spray, as you can see, and here he is in his alt mode as his little blue and white and yellow hovercraft that we all know and love, and, and very, very nicely done. I do have my issues with the robot mode, but, um... Overall, it is still a good figure. Getting close here so we can take a look at the details. You got the nice transparent blue plastic right up front there. This whole, uh, the, well not the whole front portion, the, the upper front portion here is die cast. Um, you also have some die cast back here as well. So he does have some nice heft to him. Oh, you can see the details going down the sides here. Going along the top, we got some blue and yellow and red right up there. You got the propellers on the back, which do spin on the bottom. See all that going on down there. His head is kind of, the top of his head is just kind of poking out the back there. And so I don't know if this counts as visible head syndrome. It's visible top of the head syndrome anyway. But there you go. And for comparison, here he is with Titan's Return. Sea Spray. As you can see. Now he scales there. And here he is with Masterpiece Bumblebee. Just so you can get a sense of scale there. So, there you have it. And as you can see, he does have his weaponry already mounted on him. He has these three guns. This is his uh, robot mode handgun right there. And if you don't want the guns on it, you can just untab these. I just tab it in right there. You can just un untab these little guns. And you do have to split this front section here to remove this gun. You can see it just tabs in on either side, right, right in there. So you can put that off to the side, close this back up, and have a totally clean hovercraft mode if you want. Totally up to you. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. So that's basically it for this mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. So you just want to split the front right here. Just gonna get in here, lift this little panel up. That will make things a little bit easier for you. What you wanna do here is you wanna take these sections, which are gonna be legs, you want to just kinda twist them in and it'll disengage it from that tab right there. And then just pull it down and you'll see the leg will extend right there. It's on a double hinge. And once you do that, just bring the foot up, the section here, just folds to the back, and you got that all done. Second vest, just like the fuzz, just twist it. So I'm going to do that tab, and just extend the leg down like that. Bring the foot up, bring that back. There you have his heels, and there you have the legs all done. So now for the arms, you just want to bring them down, just to untab them like so, and then bring them out. Untab, bring that out. These sections right here, you just want to bring up on this hinge and out like that. This little section right here, you just want to swing up like that. The same thing on the other side, just bring that up, bring that out. Take a little bit here, swing that up, and you got that going on. Um, at this point, you do want to bring his head up because we need this real estate here. So just bring that up like that, and we can bring this up like that. Just to get things out of our way and then you can just kind of raise this up and you can see how everything 
is folded up in here with his waist. That's how you want everything oriented when you're going into hovercraft mode. So at this point, you just undo that, bring all that down, and you want to take this chest section here, and it is on a double hinge, so you just want to pull it down. It's on a tight double hinge, too. Just take that, pull it down, and bring it in like that, and leave it up at an angle like that. Because what you're going to do now, you want to bring the legs down here. You want to leave this up like that. And what you're going to do here is this hinge is going to go back like that. And then you bring all this up. And this right here is going to plug right up in there, that slot right in there. So just bring all that up. Make sure you get everything going the way you should go. And hopefully if the stars align and the fairies and the magical dragons are on your side, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> That should all just plug in, all nice like, like so, and then we just take these sections here, just swing it to the back, bring this up, bring this in, there's this little tab that'll go right in there, like that, so just swing that up, bring that in, bring that back, make this little backpack, then you can just bring the arm down, rotate it so your elbow is oriented properly, rotate the wrist, Bring that down, rotate, rotate, and the last thing you do is just turn his head around, get everything situated, and that you have spin drift, aka sea spray, in his robot mode. And it's a good looking robot mode. My only problem with the robot mode is it doesn't quite it looks like sea spray, but it doesn't totally look like sea spray because it looks like it looks like Sea Spray after he went on a diet because Sea Spray, <laughs> Sea Spray is supposed to be, you know, he, he's a pudgy dude. He's a pudgy dude. He kind of has, you know, he has like a belly going on. And this toy, you know, it looks like Sea Spray went on a diet and, you know, he just, he got on that Nutra system and <laughs> lost some weight. And that's what this toy looks like. So while it looks like, it looks like a Sea Spray, it doesn't look like, Oh my god, that's the Sea Spray from the cartoon. That's the one thing that's off about this figure is they didn't capture Sea Spray's pudginess there. He's just like, you know, Sea Spray got in the gym and got some reps in and said, I'm going to lose a sweat. You know, like that's that's what he did. And I don't know. But <laughs> it's still a nice figure for what it is. So let's get in close here on that noggin. It's a nice head sculpt. Just, you know, mostly yellow. You have nice metallic blue there for the eyes and some gray in there as well and again we've got these details that we saw in his hovercraft mode Sometimes take a look at the legs and bright yellow legs his big old boat shoes right there and it's a very clean transformation he just has these two panels on his back but yeah it's a, it's a very clean transformation it does work so hey, now articulation wise, uh, you can take this and you can kind of angle that however you want. The head is on a ball joint uh, due to the shape of his helmet though. You don't get a whole lot of wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. Um, you can look up very slightly. You can look down a little bit. Of course you do get full rotation there. Arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out. You do have rotation at the bicep. Double jointed elbow, so you have full range of movement there. You do have wrist rotation. The hands can open and close. He does have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, can move back that far outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, double jointed knee. So you have a nice full range of movement there. And the feet, they can't move up, but they can move down due to transformation. And you do get some ankle tiltage there. He is pretty poseable. So you got that going on. Of course, you can give him his weapons if you want. If you want to give him these little guns right here, they will just tab in to the sides of his forearms, if you wish. If you don't like these little guns, you can just take them and throw them off to the side and never have to deal with them again. But uh, you have the option to give him some forearm guns. And we can give him his little handgun here, just to get a close look at it. Just cast in blue. Very simple design right there. And it's the usual tab in the slots in the palm method. 
close his hand around it. It does hold it nice and secure. So there you go. Now you do get an optional piece with sea spray. You do get an optional head right here. And you can see this, the head that is on him right now is more his cartoon head, and this is more of the uh, squared off G1 toy head. So you have the option of making him look more cartoon or more G1 toy. So, And the head is easy to swap. You just undo that screw back there, pull the head apart, put the new one on, tighten the screw, and bada boom, bada bing, you can change his head. So, you got that, which is always nice. I appreciate options. So, yeah, you have the turn now for comparison. Here he is with Titan's Return, Sea Spray, and as you can see, this Sea Spray has the pudge. He has the pudge going on. He doesn't have the pudge. Before and after. <laughs> Before and after Nutrisystem. I don't know, but there you have that. And here he is with the Masterpiece Bumblebee. So you can see how they scale together. So, there you have that. So yeah, there you have Fans Toys Spin Drift. I mean, he's he's a good solid figure. I mean, I do like him. He just he just misses the mark as far as capturing, you know, Sea Spray's look because they just like I said they they made him they made him skinny. He's not supposed to be skinny. He's why why'd you make him go on a diet, Fans Toys? Why why'd you make him lose weight? He didn't need to lose weight. He was perfect. He was perfect the way he was. I loved him the way he was. Okay, he didn't need to lose weight. That was just more of him to love. But anyway. <laughs> You know, like I said, um, you know, he he's a, a solid figure. I mean, he's not a bad toy by any means. He's a nice, solid figure. Just, uh, you know, Fans Toys is usually really good at capturing that animation model. But with this guy, they just kind of missed the mark because they, they, they put him on a diet, you know. It just <laughs> But all in all, though, it is still, like I said, a, uh, a nice, solid, fun figure. But uh, yeah, it goes. So if you would like this or any of Fans Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. Let's see, there will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Fans Toys Spin Drift, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face! Oh, hey there, Sea Spray. Oh my, have you. have you lost weight? Well, yes, I have. Thank you for noticing. Well, you, you look great. What's your secret? It's called exercise. You might want to try it sometime. Anyway, I gotta go. Hey! Hey, did you just call me fat? I'm not fat. I'm big framed.